Doctor says, are you getting enough rest? <laughs> okay. All right, let's look at what happens inside and outside of a hollow conducting sphere. So we're going to look at, first of all, the outside of it. So this is our sphere right here. And we're going to look at electric field strength. So let's first of all try to figure out what equations to look at. Uh, well, we could try to do this one right here, right? I figured, okay, well, we could try to just do this one, which is minus delta VE over delta R. But the problem is delta VE also contains an R. It's a little bit unclear. I actually prefer to just use this one, like the SL version, which is just uh, F over Q. Remember what F is. F is just KQQ over R squared. This is what this one is, KQQ over R squared. That's just F. Then I have to divide that by Q. Well, what does that mean? That means the Qs actually cancel out. And I end up with just, uh, let's see, E equals KQ over R squared. I think that's going to be a useful one here to use because I can say then that E is going to be proportional to 1 over R squared. Well, if that's the case, what does that look like? That's going to be something that, you know, goes kind of like uh, this right here. That'll be the electric field. Outside of the sphere, of course. That's outside of it. All right, what about uh, the electric potential? Well, we have an equation for that, actually, for this. We have, uh, which is VE. It just goes KQ over R. And that's it. And in fact, I can just use that one, can't I? Because uh, that's all I needed. I just needed this one here. So because of that, I can just um, circle it, and away I go. So this one here will be that. And I can then say, ah, well, then the electric potential is going to be proportion proportional to just 1 over R. So that means it'll be something that also goes, you know, kind of down like this right here. That'll be VE. And there we go. That's outside of the sphere. All right, so what happens inside of this sphere? Well, inside of it, let's see, first of all, for electric field strength, we've got this equation, don't we? Remember this one here, E equals F over Q. Now we've got, if you're inside of this sphere, and you know, it's hollow, so that means all around you is uh, the, you know, the charge. The charge is equally spread out all around you. And if that's the case, then it's all going to cancel out. All right, well, if the net force on this test charge then is zero, you know, if all these forces, for example, cancel out, what does that mean? Well, that means if F equals zero, then so does E. Okay, so if F equals zero, therefore E equals zero. And what does that mean? Well, that means the electric field strength inside the sphere then will be zero. Now, what about the electric potential? I just wanted to remind you then we do have an equation actually. Well, actually we have it for electric field strength is minus, you know, VE over delta R here, delta VE over delta R. But we just said before that E is zero, right? So if E is equal to zero, what does that mean? If E is zero, that means that delta VE equals zero. The change is zero. But if the change is zero, that means that the uh, electric potential, then if there's no change, that means the electric potential is not zero. The electric potential is constant. That's because there's no change. There's no delta. Okay, so that means then that the electric potential inside will just be some constant number. So because the electric potential is related to work, remember work done, we have this equation W equals Q times delta VE. Um, well, if delta VE is zero, Right? Because it's constant, there's no change. That means then the work done must be zero. So that means there's going to be no work needed to go from the center to get to the surface. Okay, so now we have an example with a hollow conducting sphere that has a radius r. And we're supposed to sketch the following. We're going to sketch the electric field inside and outside of the sphere. Well, remember that outside of the sphere, remember that uh, the electric field strength is going to be proportional to 1 over r squared. So that means it'll be, I don't know, something that goes maybe like this, something like that. Um, that'll be E. And then, of course, what happens then in the center? In the center, it was actually 0. So it'll be something like this. Then it'll go up. And like this. So in other words, inside the radius right here, it's going to be 0. At the radius and outwards, it's going to go like this. Now, what about the electric potential? Remember how that went. VE was proportional to just a 1 over R. So that means it'll be something that goes, I don't know, maybe something like this. Something like that. Uh, but then over here, it's going to be constant. Remember, inside it's going to be constant. So maybe something that's like this, like something flat like this, and then down. 